noticed that lovely smell. It seems to be coming from the training area. <sighs> what could it be? You have met your match, Rust. Ah, so stubborn. Good day to you, Ferdinand. You smell amazing. That is you I am smelling, is it not? Ah, Flane, hello. Are you referring to the smell of this oil? Aha! Uh -huh. Yes, that is the smell, all right. I am simply doing some armor maintenance. A little oil keeps the rust at bay, ensuring that the armor moves smoothly, without any hitches. I see. I thought maybe you were doing some cooking. You smell a bit like food. <laughs> but I suppose that is the oil tricking my nose. <laughs> I would not cook in the training area. Are you hungry by chance? Not really, no. But is that oil not also used for cooking? For things like frying meat or drizzling over a nice crisp salad? Things of that nature? Were I to coat my armor in oil that smells of food, I would be distracted by hunger at all times. I doubt that amidst actual fighting, the smell would still make you hungry. When you are in the thick of it, you devote all your focus and energy to the fight. There is no time to feel peckish. I suppose you're right. And actually, all of this talk of delicious oil has made me hungry. <laughs> in that case, I will accompany you to the dining hall. I will be finished in a couple of minutes. I must apologize, Ferdinand, but I cannot wait even a moment for you. I am famished! I shall be in the dining hall, getting my fill of fried goodies. Well, that was quick. Hmm. I will admit, now that she has mentioned it, it is a rather appetizing smell. Good day, Ferdinand. Working on your armor again? Good day to you, too. That is right. I have been overusing it a bit lately. Now, allow me to wager a guess. Are you feeling hungry, as usual? As usual? <laughs> it is not as though I am always searching for a meal. I just... I am rather interested in armor. Do you mind if I peer over your shoulder while you work? Of course not. Please, feel free to observe. Thank you for allowing me the pleasure. Oh, so many different types. Wow, helmets, armor, gauntlets. The range of defensive items seems innumerable. This one seems different from the rest of them. It is akin to a gauntlet, except... Flame, careful! Are you alright? Did you injure yourself? I am well. But what was that? That could have been serious. Uh, please forgive me. I should have warned you first. Uh, this is a new type of gauntlet with a spring-loaded blade over the knuckles. The mechanism is rather easily triggered. Uh, how foolish of me not to warn you. No, I am the one who is overly curious and reached out without permission. My apologies. But, um... When you snatched me out of harm's way, you... Uh, you embraced me quite tightly. Ah, uh, yes. You were in danger and my instincts simply took hold. I hope you will forgive my rashness. No, it is not that at all. It is just... You hugged me so tight. Uh, did it hurt? I am so sorry, Flane. I did not mean to cause you any discomfort. Not at all. Not, not in the slightest. Anyway, I had better be on my way. Such a delicate creature. And that sweet demeanor. Yeah, Snap out of it, Ferdinand! <laughs> Flane, I hope you will allow me to apologize. Why would you need to do that? Last time, when I was working on my armor, you could have been gravely injured. You have been avoiding me ever since, so I want to reiterate how very sorry I am. I'm not sure that's entirely the case. So, you are not avoiding me? To be perfectly honest, I felt a bit embarrassed. When you embraced me before, it really caught me off guard. You're surprisingly strong for how slender you appear. 
Anyway, it all got me rather flustered. Oh, I see. Well, I do train quite often. On the battlefield, it is perfectly common to lift up a wounded comrade. It has nothing to do with your gender. In the heat of the moment, I pay no attention to such things. That is, uh, how I would explain it. I see. So you have a well of strength for embracing people, it seems. Well, I would not put it like that. Usually, when I embrace people, it is in the context of battle. Is that so? <laughs> uh, so the embrace was nothing more than a rescue. Perhaps I was flustered needlessly. I wonder... if you would consider embracing me when my life is not in peril. Huh? Why? Because I'd like to feel that way again. That's why. How about it? Or is your capacity for embracing limited exclusively to warfare? <laughs> uh, oh, I see what is going on here. I had forgotten how charmingly ethereal you can be. Very well. As per your request, I shall embrace you again. Ah, oh, I'm delighted. Does right now work for you? Why, of course. Easily done. Although, perhaps we shouldn't tell Sedith. Agreed. Better to let this be our little secret. <laughs> <laughs>